Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExeroAutomation.com and welcome to another video from our Exero Automation. And today in this video, we'll be talking about Playwright versus Selenium and why Playwright is really winning the automation testing game in 2023. So if you're new to automation and if you really wanted to start using Playwright instead of Selenium that you have been using all these days, this video is going to be really, really helpful for you. The first important feature of Playwright comparing to Selenium is its speed. Because Playwright is modern, it is also much, much faster than Selenium due to its clean architecture. Because you know that Selenium uses the web driver remote control interface, which enables introspection and control of the user agent. But in the case of Playwright, Playwright uses the modern Chrome DevTool protocol, which is much, much faster than the Selenium's own web driver interface. You may be thinking that Selenium also has got the same exact feature, which is nothing but the BD or the bi-directional protocol, which also supports the CDP. But you know what? The actual implementation of Selenium's BD and with the CDP is much, much slower compared to the Playwright's implementation because Playwright's CDP is much matured compared to Selenium itself. So that is the first reason why Selenium is much slower than compared to Playwright and Playwright is amazingly fast. And the second important reason why Playwright is much, much awesome is because Playwright has native parallel execution support. All tests runs in worker processes and these processes are OS processes running independently and orchestrated by the test runner. And all workers have identical environments and operating systems and browsers. So this is really, really great because now you can see that you can run multiple tests in parallel same time and that is the real power of the whole parallel execution itself. And you can see that the whole execution just now happened is the power of the parallel execution. And you can specify number of worker thread you wanted to in the configuration, which is also going to make your life much, much easier. So this is the native parallel execution support of Playwright itself. But you may be thinking that this parallel execution support is also available in Selenium. Of course, yes, Selenium also has got the parallel execution support using Selenium Grid. But guess what? You got to be changing a lot of code as well as you need to do a lot of configuration, but that's out of box available in Playwright. The third most important feature Playwright offers is the auto waiting capability. Selenium does not really have the automatic waiting capability by itself like out of the box but Playwright has got the automatic waiting capability out of the box. As you can see this particular code execution which is currently executing is the code which is executing without any issues and that's the reason why the code actually executed without any problem. But while we make any change in the code block and while we try to run the same exact code base, what happens right now is you will see that there is going to be a waiting happening for the code execution. And that is happening because of the automatic waiting mechanism already enabled within this particular playwright. And you will see that there is a waiting being shown there. And not only that, these configuration can be configured in the playwrights configuration itself, like how much time you got to be waiting for that particular execution to happen. So that is a real power of the playwright itself in terms of automatic waiting mechanism. And all these automatic waiting capabilities are nothing but the actionability operation that you can set within Playwright and you will see that there are a list of actionability items that you can set within Playwright so that every single actionability item like type, check, click, select, all these methods are automatically going to wait for you for a particular element to be available in the DOM to be rendered so that it can perform the operation. This is the neat feature which Playwright already offer out of the box which Selenium does not. The next feature which Playwright offers is the native Playwright test feature. This is something which is completely not available in Selenium because every single time while you try to perform an execution of your Selenium test, you got to be choosing any one of the test runner. For example, you need to have what is called as an N unit or test NG or X unit or MS test, depending upon the language that you are choosing to run the test. You got to be doing all these setup for you yourself. Even for the JavaScript, you have to use a third party test runner like Mocha or Jaspin, something like that. But in the case of Playwright, you don't have to do any such thing because in Playwright, it automatically comes with what is called as a Playwright test runner, which has got what is called as the Playwright test package, which comes with a lot of different features as you can see over here. It has got the describe, it also has got the skip, the stop, and also the step, and you can do all the fixer capabilities within the test. So it also has the capability to provide you the hook as well as the before hook and after hook, something like that. So you can set every single thing 
within the playwright test which is another amazing capability which is available out of the box in playwright the next most interesting feature which playwright actually offers which selenium does not offer is the reporting capability you will notice that every single time while you run the test execution you need to have a test result or a report which is going to show you what really happened during the test execution this is something probably every test engineer really require but selenium does not offer this feature out of the box and you can see that in playwright over here every time while we try to execute the test execution while the whole test execution completes it can be a parallel test or whatever it is you can just do this show report option and then you can see the whole report coming up the whole HTML report which is going to include not only just the report but also includes the video the screenshot it also includes the retry of the test which is going to happen so Playwright also support native retries of your test execution if it fails like if it's a flaky test it's going to retry the test for you to ensure that the test passes next time so even that operation is going to be captured within the playwright test result report and there are so many different reporting options available like dot report and there is a line report HTML report and you can also create a lot of custom reports within this playwright test like allure report and it is very very highly extendable and quite awesome than compared to the report that you can use with selenium so that is another great feature which playwright does offer which selenium is actually lacking in it and the next feature which i probably need to call out because we have been touching so many times the configuration playwright can be completely configured from one single place which is nothing but the playwright configuration because you can see that there is a mammoth of feature which playwright does offer and all these features can be easily customized in one single place you can control the whole operation of playwright in one single place which is nothing but the playwright configuration and i really love the matter of fact that you can also override the custom configurations of the playwright from the command line interface that you can pass it like a flag and you can even override that particular configuration you can use the same configuration for different environment while you go with the ci cd operations i mean you can do every single thing from this configuration file which completely is not available in selenium i mean you got to be writing custom code to do that which is not something that you got to be doing in playwright if you are just getting started with the automation itself with all the best practices and industry leading practices that you can use within playwright and also playwright supports wide range of testing and you can see that the one that we have been discussing all these time is the end-to-end -end testing like the ui end-to-end -end testing which playwright does support but it also support accessibility testing component testing even though it is experimental it does support pretty good right now and it also supports api testing which is also awesome because you can do all sort of testing combination along with your playwright itself so these are the different types of testing which are being supported by playwright out of the box which selenium does not support because selenium does not support what is called as component testing which is completely not possible with selenium and there is no way that you can do api testing with selenium i mean you can do it but it doesn't look quite great you gotta be using third-party library to make it happen but everything is supported out of the box in playwright and not only that playwright offers rich native features which is nothing but the ui mode which is going to help you actually run the test in the ui mode from the command line you can just see that there is going to be an ui mode which is going to spawn up and then you can also generate the code using what is called as code gen which is going to generate the whole code for you which you can then copy the whole code and then paste it i know selenium also has got what is called as a selenium ide but that is the only feature which selenium has got but over here in playwright you can generate the code not only just from the command line using the code gen but also you can use the visual studios own plugin which is like an extension which is available in playwright which you can use to generate the code and also you can perform a lot of native debugging of the code features which is available in the playwright out of the box which selenium does not offer and of course you know that selenium does not have got what is called as the vs code plugin or trace logging greater debugging capability within the vs code but that is all available out of the box in playwright and most importantly playwright does have what is called as an aria locator support which is completely not available with selenium because aria locator is something which is quite new which actually uses the accessibility feature of the ui which is going to be helpful for you to identify the ui controls which Selenium completely does not support, but Playwright does support it, and it makes you look the classical identification quite complex while well compared to area because area locators are very, very easy to perform an UI identification, and it's much faster as well, which 
completely not available in Selenium. And the final and the last feature of the Playwright is the Playwright's release candidates itself. You can see that Playwright does do a lot of release and incremental update of its feature every single month, at least a couple of times a month sometime, and even three times a month I have seen before, which Selenium does not because Selenium is quite slower and is completely community driven, whereas Playwright is backed by Microsoft and there are so many releases happening each and every time. It also tries to compete with other modern automation testing tool like Cypress as much as possible and giving every single feature for free. And that is the reason why Playwright is much, much faster in terms of feature releasing, whereas Selenium is quite slower. So these are the different features that is available in Playwright compared to Selenium. And I'm sure that you probably will be thinking that there are even more features I probably wouldn't have discussed. But these are the top 10 features which I think are something more important to be discussed in Playwright versus Selenium and why Playwright is going to overtake Selenium quite sooner. Please let me know in the comments below what do you think about these feature. We can probably talk about that in our next video. But yes, these are the Playwright versus Selenium feature and why Playwright is quite awesome compared to Selenium. Once again, all these discussions that we have did over here are all covered in my Exit Automation course. So please go ahead and watch there. It's available in Udemy as well as in YouTube, which is going to give you even more insight of whatever that we have discussed so far. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.